Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. For today's video, we are gonna be shopping my stash and doing a spring makeup look. I really wanna just use products that I already have in my collection, but I also want to retest out a new foundation that I recently used. So I figured let's pick out some products together, shop my stash, and then we can get ready together and do some spring makeup. So make sure you grab a snack, get cozy, or grab your makeup and your brushes so we can get ready together. And let's get into it and have some girl time. Starting off with eyeshadows, I'm actually gonna use the Too Faced Italian Italian spritz palette. I just did a makeup look with this in my last testing new makeup and I love this color story so I'm going to do another look. I think I want to do a blue pop of color today. As far as mascaras, I have been obsessed with still with the Milani Lash Extensions mascara. For lashes today, I have a couple of different favorites here. I need to do an updated lash video but I am kind of feeling these Moira lashes. These are really pretty. They're the Faux Mink lashes. These are in the style 09 daring i may use these or if i don't end up using these i might use these kiss lashes these are really pretty too for eyeliners i love this one from pixie it's the endless silky eye pencil in black as far as complexion i am still obsessed with the house labs triclone skin tech foundation it is amazing great coverage long lasting but i just tested out this new say super glowy foundation and i didn't really love it so i want to use this again so i'm actually not going to use any primer because this is actually 85 percent skincare based and i just picked up a new shade in shade 11 which hopefully will be a much better match the other color Color that I used was 15 and it was way too dark. And since we're here, I'm gonna grab the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is one of my favorite powdered bronzers. And let's pick out a concealer. Debating, do I wanna keep it classic with Dominique Cosmetics Wide Awake Full Coverage Concealer? This is really good and it's hydrating. Urban Decay, Quickie, this is super full coverage. I, mean, I think that actually might be a good combo since the foundation is a little bit more natural and glowy. And then for powder, one of my all time favorite loose setting powders is the Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder. It is so incredibly smooth. For press powder today, you just honestly cannot go wrong with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder. And this one's in the shade Light Medium. And let's pick out a blush combo for today. Well, I actually have a cream blush that I have been loving. It's specifically called the Luminous Blush in the shade of Born Yesterday. It is the most gorgeous pink. And then for powder blush, I think I want to do a pretty glowy powder blush because i'm not going to do any highlighters so i'm kind of debating between this cover girl high pigment blush this is really pretty and this one's in the color love me this is a good one i also have this charlotte tilbury blush right here that i love this is a good splurge blush i specifically love the color love is the drug and ecstasy this one is love is the drug i know it doesn't really look like much but on the skin it is so beautiful it's sort of like the charlotte tilbury press powder but in a blush form like the formula is very smooth and airbrushed on the skin and then the other color that i love is right here in ecstasy ecstasy and this is like a pretty peach pink oh, i love it i was actually going to use a baked blush so that i wouldn't use any highlighter but i changed my mind i am going to do a little highlight and i'm thinking i honestly oh this one from pixie actually and from what i remember this formula is amazing but this one is in the shade subtle sunrise and then as far as setting spray i have quite a few favorites i actually also just tested out this one from milk makeup that is incredible especially if you have oily skin and this is another highlight and setting spray that i love the charlotte tilbury flawless finish that's a really great option i'm debating if i want to use the one size until dawn or milani make it last because this is truly a classic and it's my favorite setting spray i think i'm actually just going to use this that way we have a good mixture of drugstore and high-end products and for a lip liner i'm using the kind words matte lip liner in the shade wise from rare beauty this is one of my all-time favorites i have repurchased this i actually already have a backup here I typically keep one in my purse and then always one here in my vanity because i love this color and then i've also really been loving these lip oils from dose of colors specifically this one is in the color pretty casual yes love it it's a gorgeous nude so now let's officially do a full face so grab your makeup and your brushes and let's do some spring makeup so you guys already know brows are done lids are primed and i'm gonna jump back into the italian spritz palette from too faced i love this color story it is so pretty and I definitely want to do a little pop of blue today So I'm going to start with these two colors right here on the end first holy cannoli and toasted in Tuscany and I'm going to start working those on the outer lid first and in the crease 
I just tried to film this look, not gonna lie, and I did not like the direction it was going, so I just wiped off my makeup and we're gonna start fresh. Sometimes when I try to do something that's a little too out of my comfort zone, that's usually what happens, so I'm like, let's just keep it basic, Jasmine. And have any of you guys been to Italy? Because it is on my bucket list. Ever since I was younger, when I would watch the Lizzie McGuire movie, which by the way, is still one of my favorite movies. Please let me know if you guys have watched that. It is in my top five for like comfort movies. But ever since I watched that, I've always wanted to go to Italy. So I want to do that before I'm 30. Definitely going to have to add that to the list. I want to go to the Trevi Fountain and eat some good pasta, honestly. Then I'm going to take the color of Mamma Mia. And I'm going to start working that on the outer lid. I have no idea where this look is going, by the way. We're just going to trust the process and see what I come up with. Even sometimes I need to tell myself trust the process because I usually plan my looks in my mind and then I just go with the flow. But other times I'm just winging it, honestly. I have a vision, but it doesn't always come to life. I am adding a little bit of this color right here. Spaghetti about it. That's really cute i love the names and i would love to go to italy and have some good spaghetti i bet the pasta is delicious out there and the bread i can only imagine if you guys have been to italy let me know some of your favorite things and food and everything what what is the best things to do there not that i plan on going anytime soon but that's a big trip so definitely gotta start thinking about it soon because i want to do it I don't know how soon, but I want to do it soon. Like maybe before I'm 30 for sure. I really like the mattes in this palette. They're really blendable. And even this color, I know it looks a little crazy, but for this being a burgundy, it's actually looking good. I know it looks a little splotchy, but I feel like that's always the case sometimes with these kind of colors. I've heard they're really difficult to make, but I think this is still blending really nicely and it's building up nicely too. Now I'm going to go in with the blue color. I definitely recommend with the shimmers to spray your brush or use your finger because they're going to apply best that way. This blue is so pretty. I do wish it was a little bit lighter though because there is a darker blue in here. The undertones are a little bit different, but I do wish this color was a little bit more icy, but it's really pretty though. And then I'm going to use whatever is left over on my brush with that burgundy color, Mamma Mia. I'm just going to run that on the edges of the blue to blend that out a little bit better. Oh, this is pretty though. Okay, I'm gonna actually take this light purple. I'm gonna pop that right in the center. Also kind of just blending it in with the blue and with that Mamma Mia shade. I love that name, by the way. I love the way that looks, especially mixed with the blue. Scorch. The shimmers are definitely buildable they're not very vibrant or metallic-y when you first apply it you have to build it up but once you do and like i said especially if you spray your brush which i always recommend but when you do build it up it is a really nice color then i'm going to take this really pretty pink it's called a when in realm and i am ever so lightly dusting this into my crease kind of just around the edges of all of the eyeshadow just to bring some of that pink into the look and I actually really like that. Yes, this is bold. I don't know about spring makeup, but we definitely got some color here today. Then I'm taking this glittery teal color. It's called Como After Dark and I'm just running that on my outer lash line just a tad so that it contrasts against the blue just just a little bit. This color does have quite a bit of fallout because it is glittery. This looks a little crazy, but I'm hoping with the lashes and everything it'll come together. That's what it's all about, you know? There's no rules, just have fun with it, go with the flow, do the color. I mean, I feel like I'm not the best at colorful makeup looks. I'm definitely more of a neutral girly. That's just my specialty, but I like to play with color once in a while. Sometimes I like the challenge of picking the colors and bringing everything together. It's a process, but I do enjoy it. Okay, just kidding. I am just taking that color and I'm just gonna add that. Instead of just smudging it, I'm just adding it to the outer lid. Yeah, and I think that's looking so much better. I always end up doing that. Sometimes I will add a little bit of a darker color just to make it look a little bit kind of smoky, like smudged out eyeliner, and then I just end up adding it all over the outer 
portion because I love the way the dark looks against the blue. It just really makes it pop. I definitely always make my colorful makeup looks more complicated than what they need to be, but I told you guys I'm a neutral girly. So when I do color, I'm just kind of experimenting and seeing what works, but you can definitely create colorful looks with way less eyeshadows it's just my process you guys know but anyways i do like the way this is looking now i kind of see the vision coming together i was a little bit nervous at first but trust the process now we're gonna do mascara lashes i'm gonna go into the highly rated from milani another thing i like about this mascara is how dark it is it's amazing and this is a tubing mascara by the way so it's gonna grab all of your lashes so i ended up not even using either of the lashes that i picked out i like those lashes but i just didn't really love them with this eyeshadow so i went with the juvia's place nubian lash and these are the maximum volume lashes and i did trim the inner corners and i like the way these look they're definitely super voluminous so now let's move on to the skin i'm actually not going to do any skin prep because like I said, I want to try out the new Say Beauty Glowy Foundation again with just my bare skin. I did my usual skincare, but this was like a few hours ago at this point. So let's go in with this bare. I'm not even going to use setting spray before foundation. I got the color 11 and I actually got color matched yesterday at Sephora. Let's see. I'm going to start with that much and I'm actually going to use the brush on this side. And this color is so much better. So it's definitely super dewy, the foundation. It's very runny, like just having it on the back of my hand, you can see it's super runny. So it feels like a serum foundation, but I like the glow that it gives. I just personally didn't like how it sat on my skin. So I'm kind of working in sections and then just blending this out. So see how dewy it is? So even without primer, this is definitely gonna be for my girlies and guys who love a do like it's super super glowy but it's pretty i would say the coverage is medium i don't really find it to be super buildable honestly it's like really really dewy which i typically don't mind but i think for me right now it looks a bit much and i think the brush is okay i'm gonna use my regular foundation brush on the other side i kind of feel like this foundation oxidizes a little bit too because it goes on kind of light and even on the back of my hand, it looks light, but then it's, I feel like kind of turning a little bit orange. And I'm using the Pinnacle Foundation Brush on the other side from Anissa Beauty. So this is what the foundation looks like. She's super dewy, definitely gives some natural medium coverage. I honestly don't even wanna keep adding more just cause the product is so glowy. But to be honest, it's a lot. The dew is definitely super intense. I don't think you're gonna like this if you have oily skin or maybe even combo skin. I have combo skin and I don't mind products that are dewy, but this is a bit much. When I did wear it the other day, it's almost like a glowy product, but at the same time it's dry cause it does cling to some dry spots or if you have any texture Sure, it'll definitely cling on to that. Honestly, just prefer the tinted moisturizer from Say Beauty so much more, or just so many other foundations that I think just look better, smoother, give better coverage, or just sit better on the skin. I'm just not really getting a wow factor from this product. I mean, I think it looks nice. It doesn't look terrible, but it's just not at the level. I'm hopeful that the concealer and everything will just bring it all together. So let's go in with the Urban Decay Stay Naked, Naked, Naked Quickie Concealer. And I mixed both of the colors that I have just on the back of my hand, 40NN and 41NN. This concealer has such full coverage. I really like it. I definitely don't recommend using a lot of product. I honestly just don't really feel like you need it because the concealer is so full coverage, but it's really pretty. Whatever I have left over, I'm just gonna put it on this little blemish here. Also, I think if you're a person that doesn't really like to set their under eyes or their concealer in general, you can definitely get away with it with this concealer because this is how it dries. It's almost like a self-setting concealer. It's really nice. So that I love. I have a new favorite luminous blush and it's from Hard Candy. It's under $10 at Walmart and the color is in Born Yesterday. It's such a gorgeous pink. And it has a really nice luminosity to it. See how pretty that is? I love that light flush that it gives, but like I said, you can totally build this up, but it's such a nice formula. I tried a couple different colors, but this one is my favorite. It's a really nice blendable formula and it gives such a gorgeous glow. It's kind of like, sort of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury blush wands a little bit. Not identical, but it gives that really pretty flush with that glowy finish. It literally says it on here, hydrating, brightening, and buildable 
totally agree. Let's do a little Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder. I love this. It's so smooth. Also gives a little bit of brightness too. Oh yeah, I love this powder. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I especially love it for the under eyes because it gives me a nice smooth matte finish, but it's not dry. It just melts into the skin. I like to really press it in to set my makeup and keep it in place. We gotta set the forehead ASAP. Let's do that now. I just dropped my powder and some of it shattered. That's the only thing with this powder. It's so good, but when you drop it, it most likely is going to break. That's the only thing. I'm gonna use it, of course, but it's very delicate, the powder, but it's super smoothing as well. Definitely another good dupe for Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder, which I also love, but this is a nice alternative. It sets your makeup really nicely. So I'm gonna pretty much set the rest of my face. I will even add a little bit right under my eyes, just cause I love the combination of loose and pressed powder. Doing my forehead is always my favorite because you can just see the shine disappear instantly. The foundation is really dewy though, so even after you set, you're still gonna have a little bit of that glowiness kind of peeking through. And by the way, I love the way this blush looks. Even after you set, you can still see it. It's so beautiful. This is definitely one of my new favorite finds. Let's add a little Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm gonna put this on the perimeter of the face. Mm, I love the way this smells. I'm so happy I can use this again because Physicians Formula is cruelty free. And I love this bronzer formula. It's super smooth. A little love is the drug blush from Charlotte Tilbury. I like to start in the center and then swirl it around to get both colors. So pretty. It's almost like a really nice satin blush. It does give a little bit of a glow, but it's not really like a baked blush, you know? Like it's just satin. I'm gonna add a touch of glow with the Pixie Glossy Duo in the shade Subtle Sunrise and I'm actually just gonna mix both with my tapered highlighter brush. I'm gonna just dust this over the cheeks as a blush topper. I'm doing this really lightly too because depending on the brush that you use you can get a lot of payoff with this formula but i just want to keep it subtle it's really smooth though which i like and it's not glittery so this is actually a really nice highlighter i'm not sure if it's still available i hope it is adding that same highlighter right in the inner corners i'm gonna add some purple now the purple shade and I'm gonna pop that on the lower lashes. I also tapped my brush literally so lightly like I did mostly purple and then I tapped into the color Mamma Mia and I'm gonna drag those right on my lash line and I'm gonna add it back to the center of my lids as well. And this time I'm using a tinier brush and I did spray it so I can concentrate that shade a little bit more precisely. Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Wise. These are super creamy, pigmented, long lasting. And this color, it works with so many of my favorite lipsticks. Usually for the most part, whenever I have my lip compos as of recently, this is the lip liner that I have on underneath. So I'm gonna line my lips, but also fill them in a little bit as well. It's perfect. I love it. The color, the formula. So I'm gonna top that off with just a little lip oil. These from Dose of Colors are really nice. It honestly feels more glossy than like a lip oil, but I love that sound too, by the way. But this one, again, is in Pretty Casual. It's the lightest shade. Sometimes I will just use this with lip liner or top it over a lipstick because it is a little bit of a nude, or very nude. <laughs> but it's so pretty. It just lightens up any lip combo too, so it looks nice with darker lip liner. So that is officially everything for this Shop My Stash. I love playing with products that I already own in my collection, and I really wanted to use the Italian Spritz Palette again from Too Faced, which I really did enjoy. I tried to use as many colors as possible. I think this is a really fun palette if you're into color. I don't think it's a must-have if you already have colorful shadows in your collection, but it is really pretty, and if you like Too Faced formula, I think you would like this as well. The mattes are gorgeous. I will say, I think the mattes are definitely a bit more kind of 
in your face versus the shimmers you have to build them up a little bit more and you need to spray your brush or use your finger to get that full maximum color payoff with the shimmers but it's a really cute palette and again with the colors that's just really what gets me this color story is definitely one of my favorites from Too Faced but I truly forgot how good the butter bronzer is from Positions Formula amazing it gives the perfect bronzy touch I also love the blush combination that I did this from Hard Candy is fabulous if you're looking for an affordable luminous liquid blush this one's amazing and then topped with the Charlotte Tilbury blush in Love is a Drug love that little combination and then this pixie highlighter I'm really hoping this is still available because if it is and you're into a glow you will love this formula it reminds me a lot of the rare beauty highlighter a little bit but I love how it's super smooth and metallic but it's not glittery or powdery it's so nice I also definitely need to do this lip combo more often I typically always use a lip liner like I said but with this lip oil from dose of colors I've been topping it over other lipsticks but I love the way it looks just with the lip liner alone it's gorgeous yeah it's always fun just shopping my stash and just using up good products in my collection so this is your friendly reminder to use up your products shop your stash i'm sure you have some great things that you might have forgot about so use them up and like i said i will keep you guys updated on this foundation which i'm still not really obsessing over to be honest i don't know it's just like i said the way that the foundation sits on my skin it's just not my favorite this is a glowy foundation so if you're not into that you're probably not gonna like this but it is pretty it's just not my favorite you know we got pros and cons over here with it but i'm gonna keep using it but yeah that is everything for today's video thank you guys so much for being here i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you very soon in my next one